Uh, incidentally, for all any of you lefties out there, <laughs> you might have noticed uh, my modified uh, veneer saw, because uh, normally this thing is going in the other direction. And so I cut it at the uh, stem here and just tipped it over in the other direction and then glued it back with a bit of uh, JB Weld. And now it's a left-handed um, fret uh, veneer saw. So, yes, needs must when you're a lefty. Needs must. Well, I messed up the f initial recording of when all this veneer first arrived, so we, you join us uh, after I've done the cutting. And so I've cut four strips, three here and, a, and another one over there, um, for the front and the two sides. And so all of these three will be used up. And then the fourth one will be to finish off the uh, each end uh, each end on the sides for the top a little frustrating because the um the depth of the set is about 23 centimeters even though this was mentioned as 22 it's actually closer to 23. so when i cut a single strip for the top and laid it on the top it was uh, this much uh, too short <laughs> so I would have to put a thin strip up the back but I thought now I'll uh, I it's easier to join it and do it properly if I come back a bit so I've come back about five uh, centimeters here and to a point where the join looks to be much more if you like matched and uh, you wouldn't see a thin strip sticking up the back hopefully this will be relatively invisible when I uh, finally do it so Next step is to join this up together to a single piece and then I'll uh, glue that on as a single piece and that'll be the first thing to do after the other first thing to do which is to stop and have some lunch. Right so that's the uh, the two pieces joined together for the top. I mean you'll all go see the join depending on how the light catches the grain because each piece will reflect differently but like for instance at this angle it looks pretty cool so we shall see what it looks like when it's finally on the machine and has a finish on it so the theory goes we put some glue on the veneer here we put some glue on the top of the set put the two together put some grease proof paper on top to catch any bleed through and then use this piece of uh, ply as the press and then as many clamps as I can find to try and hold it all together. That is the theory. Practice remains to be seen. And there we go, that's the practice. Uh, so in the words of Tom Johnson, I'll leave this overnight. And here we are next morning. So uh, I actually took it out of the clamps late last night before I went to bed. And then I trimmed it up this morning. Um, I would give it a 6.5 out of 10 at this point, I'd say. Uh, there's no bubbles. <laughs> there's a few little wrinkly bits, which hopefully the finish will be able to take care of. I did have some bleed through around here, but it seems to have faded away and uh, hopefully a little bit of sanding will take care of the rest. So yeah, I'm pretty happy this stage, that's the, but that's the easy bit to do. <laughs> so from here on, uh, there will be a main panel going down here. And I need to make up uh, calls for holding each of these uh, panels because they'll all be different. In an ideal world, you take all the three or four pieces and glue them edge to edge and then just fit them all at the same time. But I have no idea how you would clamp something like that so you get proper adhesion. Uh, <laughs> So we're going to do it panel at a time and hopefully I can clean it up at each edge so that they'll join up nicely. So I decided I'd mask off the um, edges to deal with squeeze out because once this panel is on and everything is clamped it's going to be really difficult to get around the back here and uh, clean out, squeeze out. And so to make it a little easier, hopefully just peeling off the tape later will uh, Get me most of the way there. Right, that's as many clamps as I could fit in there. So we'll uh, leave that a good three or four hours before we touch it again. And there we go with the first front panel done. 
No, maybe give that one a 5 out of 10. It got on there okay, but one thing I discovered, my call is just a little bit narrower than the panel because I wanted to make sure the edges were exposed here so I could wipe off any excess squeeze out. However, I found out that even, certainly on this side, with even just like a millimeter of the um, veneer showing out from underneath the call, it wanted to curl up. And so I had to uh, panic to hold it down <laughs> until the glue started to take uh, and then tape it off and it seems to have done the trick. But yeah, that was a little bit of a panic. So now the next test will be, can we get a good clean edge between the, this panel and the ones either side? We shall find out. So there we are with the first curved panel. Clamping on two planes is always a bit of in adrenaline inducing. So uh, we just have to hope now, leave that for a couple hours and we'll uh, have a look-see. And it's the following day, so uh, I'm going to give this panel maybe a 4.5 out of 10. <laughs> I always knew this was going to be tricky because of the curve, and I couldn't think of a way of uh, coming up with a, a, a call and a clamp. So uh, if you like, this face was clamped down. I uh, pressed it as tightly as I could around the curve and then pulled it at this end and taped it off at the back here so it couldn't move and then clamped everything down and I mostly got away with it there was one small area here at the top where it didn't quite follow the curve and in fact there was a little crack here where it sort of uh, tried to go straight if you know what I mean however I was lucky I was able to pull it back into a curve with some strong uh, sticky tape and then backfill it with some uh, thick super glue. So I think we're good, we're good to go. And the other good news is the gap here that's left is less than half the, uh, the width of a panel that I've cut. So I'll be able to do the whole lot with four of these uh, sort of panels rather than five. So I'll have a little bit left over or if you like room for mistakes <laughs> right on to this one this one i'm not sure i was debating whether or not i would lay it out first and cut this part of the uh, veneer away but then i was thinking uh, if i just have a thin strip here and a thin strip here as i go around the curve it might just snap so i think i on reflection i'll probably leave it all intact well, it'll be interesting to see how this one turns out, because the wood did split. I decided not to cut it out, I decided to leave the whole thing there, uh, with the intention that it would be more robust. <laughs> turns out, um, luckily where it is supported at the back, it doesn't appear to have split. Uh, but in the gap in the middle, between the top and bottom frame, it has split. So I put a bit of tape across it to hopefully stop them from spreading. And we're clamped up and we'll uh, come back in about four hours time and see what happened. So a couple of days later guys I decided it was going to be really boring just doing it panel by panel so um, I got the rest of them done without too much of an incident. It's never going to be uh, exhibition grade uh, cabinetry but <laughs> I think it's going to be good enough for adding the radio to my collection. So I'm pretty pleased with where we are now. Um, next stage up is um, lots of sanding, grain filling, more sanding, probably more grain filling and and uh, then we'll be ready for a uh, final finish. Not exactly sure what to do for that yet but uh, don't have to decide right away so um, once again all the sanding is really boring so I won't bother doing any of that on camera and so I will come back when we are ready for um, ready for finish yeah, I think it's gonna be fine once we uh, 
get it all back together. Anyway, thanks for watching so far, guys. Uh, more to come, hopefully not uh, in the near future.